This is Laura Rick of the Paranormal Ghost Society. We are in the Red Light Museum. Uh, prostitution was very legal back in the 1800s in this town. You can see right here there's a model of a doctor treating one of the women. And of course here's a table and your feet, if you look, your feet would go on these stirrups. That's what the stirrups are for. Uh, there's an old typewriter. Here's the Grandma's Whorehouse. A model stirrups of stirrups for prostitution? Oh yeah. Where are they? Right here. So that's for prostitution. <laughs> so who would put the woman or the man? You'd put the woman on the table. I guess it depends on what type of position you were gonna. <laughs> oh, so Pretty this much. is where she'd lie. Yeah, and she'd put she'd put her feet right here. And then there'd be another one on the other side. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is there a mattress or just this hard thing? I guess it was probably like that. It may have been like that, possibly. Like what? I don't see What anything. she's laying on. Well, that one looks like it's got some sheets and mattress. Right. They may have put a blanket down, but I don't think they put too much comfort when it came to the women. And then they had a drawer for, for things. Right. These are old prophylactics. Oh, this is not for sex. This is for examination. Oh. Gynecology, maybe. Oh, well, then the man could go on that and use the stripes. Right. I'm sure he used it for old boots. Other so that wasn't for sex. That was for exams, right? Good possibility. Douches were the most common form of birth to control for prostitutes. These are old douches. Here's an old Arctic vibrator. But I wanted a go over something with you if you're looking at this film um nerve sedatives and different things like this um, these were little toys that would um like for example here was a family battery these were nerve sedatives but if you look over here this is the most famous story of all john million was a guy who murdered julia bulet some say he was actually innocent. Yeah, some do. Very famous character, I'd say. But if you look, this is this is the picture. No, it's a mirror. Nothing to see. Well, there's two one here. They're probably watching us. Let's try someone on the other side. Could be. And over here, yes, this looks like an actual photo of this woman in some kind of a you have a skull thing. What do you think this is? It that's, looks like an actual photo of Julia in a crib outside. That's a a cemetery plot up at the hill at the cemetery there. Oh, what's she doing in there? I have no idea, unless it's a relative of hers, and they just said, well, "Let's photograph you here or whatever." But I mean, I know that's Silver Terrace Cemetery, which overlooks the town. Is that the main cemetery? Oh yeah, there's there's like eleven cemeteries, but they're Is this all the main one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, various opium pipes. They used to have opium houses here too. Yeah. Old skull here. Some of the gambling things, these are, uh, what do they call those? Slot machine, U.S. playing cards from the 1920s. They have these other sticks that look like dominoes. Jack Daniels playing cards. That's an antique. Cuban seal cigars. Old bullet belt. Oh, man, there's so much history. Just these little artifacts alone. Bottles of alcohol. Wow. The weenie queen. It's a box anyway. And what's this thing? Is this a dildo? Would that be? Mm -hmm. Looks more like a baseball bat, but or a club, but sure. something they use to Oh, pass it that's what it is from it's from New Guinea. It's a false peanut. Huh. 
Marilyn Monroe. I guess if she didn't get any clients, she took care of herself. <laughs> but didn't make no money doing this it. This is actually a musical instrument. Oh, look at this picture of the New Guinea people. Does yeah, she play it while well, she... It's probably cheap bubblegum, too. I read a comic book. <laughs> got all these medical devices in here. Scalpels, scissors, things that cut limbs off. Deliver goods in the rear, I bet. I see, I'd say this is a pretty interesting little museum. There are some rather interesting pieces here. They have. But look at this picture. This is very interesting. What the, This is the human peony phone. The world's most unusual instrument. They they somehow wear it there. I don't know how they keep it in place. Uh, you can't tell. But this is it. This is actually a musical instrument. Oh, I see it. I see it now. Yeah. I guess that is bizarre. It's from this New Guinea tribe. This is a very interesting. Maybe, maybe thing. once they got an erection, they stuck it on there and it kept it. <laughs> no, I, I think it is. It, 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 it's, it's a cool thing. That's Find true. That, you know. that is true. You can't speculate <laughs> how it works. Yeah, I, I can't either. But I have seen. I have seen recent uh, National Geographic things where they've got those people in there and they're wearing around with that on them, the same thing. But I wasn't aware that it was an instrument. This very same thing? Yeah. Hmm. New Guinea or wherever. How recent was that National Geographic? I don't know. I saw it in the last five Opium years. pipes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah baby. Give me some of those. Here we go. Paper domino gaming pieces. Ivory domino gaming pieces. This museum really needs better, you know, display. Better lighting. You think they do that on purpose? They do. <laughs> Maybe that's the way they kept them. That's very low light. Well... They need better, you know, display, better. Uh, they need better labeling. And yeah. So on. It's, it's very disorganized. Have a good one. You too, sir. It's interesting, though. Yeah. It is. It's Lord Rick.